That was wonderful, Janet, as usual. That was beautiful. I wish I actually had time to give the bios because um, there are so many amazing people here tonight. You know, so so many talented, talented people, and and I'm always in awe every year, every year to see all the works that come out. But unfortunately, we want to try and get as many artists and poets as we can, and. Um, we don't have the time for the bios, but uh, if you see something you like or you hear something you like, you know, by all means, uh, find their names on the program, find them on Facebook, get in touch with them, you know, and check them out. There's some really amazing people here tonight. Thank you all. We, thanks, Lozanne. Up next, uh, there is one person here who has helped out so much over the years, and there is one bio that I'm going to read. And um, that's uh, my, my dear friend, a very wonderful lady, Candace James. And she has done and accomplished so much in her life. It's, it's, it's just fantastic. That's, uh, she worked her butt off to actually give me a bio that was less than 50 words long. <laughs> I think her, her actual bio is uh, pretty much of a, a short novelette or something like that. But uh, she sent me this bio and, and it's like, okay, well, there, if there's one person here that's, uh, that needs it, it's, it's Candace James. And she, um, she's an amazing person and I thank you so much. I thank you. Every year you help out so much and it is so wonderful to see you. <laughs> Candace James, poet laureate and Anita. New Westminster, BC, is a poet, writer, artist, musician, singer songwriter, workshop facilitator, advisor to Royal City Literary Arts Society, director of Festival of the Book Society, Victoria, BC, author of 13 poetry books, and recipient of the Bernie Legge Artist Cultural Award and Pandora's Collective Citizenship Award. Wow. That's pretty good for 50 words. <laughs> Everybody, Candice James with the Painting website. And I am, oh, I believe the, um, the, the, the person that wrote the poem for this one was uh, Deborah L. Kelly, who's, who's a, no, who was it? Oh, it's Sabrina Hartman. Uh, Oh, I'm waiting for the Deborah thing. Come on up, Sabrina. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> See, I don't have my glasses on. Sabrina is our, uh, our newest member at the Holy Well Poets. And, uh, yes. <laughs> welcome, welcome. And uh, she, um, she touched us all um, at the last Holy Well Poets with a very, very um, heartfelt and rendering of uh, aggrievement for a friend was for a friend, and so, so of course I had to invite her along to, to the extravaganza this year, and she wrote a wonderful poem, and so we'll listen to it soon. Uh, first I'm going to hand the mic on over to my very dear friend Candace James. Thank you. Yes, I'm short, so everybody always does that, brings the mic down. <laughs> well, I always have fun here. I love being out at Maple Ridge and doing things with Phil and Holy Wow and everybody. So this is about leisure, and really my whole life's about leisure now. <laughs> I don't do anything I don't want to do. And everything I start off with in painting, I just start off with a leisurely feel. I never know where it's going, have no idea, and then something starts to take shape. And uh, this, this one, actually, I had to run up and change the name on the back today. I forgot and I'd gone over it. It used to be called Surf and Sea, but now it's called Eptide. So uh, it changed because there was a lot more uh, violent action happening in it. <laughs> I got fed up with it, so I went over it again and I made it more calm and peaceful. And uh, I really, uh, really had fun doing it. Love working around with the colors, and I'm so pleased to have this lovely lady do a poem to it. that Michael that you gave that uh, opening because uh, God is mentioned in my poem I'm not super religious but what you were sharing really spoke to me and I hope that people kind of keep that in mind as they hear my poem but um, I knew that we had to uh, 
give a little beginning to this, and I was trying to think about poetry, and I was sharing um, how um, how poetry for me, like how how do I write? And for me, it really is about getting to the truth of something. And I feel like the more I I give my attention to um, something, whether it's a, a picture or a feeling or an experience, um, the more I I can get to the truth of that experience for me, and uh, and I know when it's when it's real. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, so for me, uh, writing poetry is almost um, it's a it's a work towards truth, and uh, and so this this poem is what was true for me. Um, the more I looked at this amazing uh, painting, uh, the more I saw. And uh, it reminded me a little bit of when I look at the sky at night and it's full of stars. And the more you look, the more stars you see. And the more touched you are and the deeper you fall into yourself. And you're just really moved and touched. So. This is ner- you guys are all so great, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like the positivity. Okay, so I named my poem uh, the same as, uh, as the painting, and then I came from there. So, ebb tide. When speech fails me, it is at times such as this. God stands before me, arms outstretched and I am absolutely overcome. In my heart, I have fallen to my knees, as if the beauty of what is around and before me is too great a weight to hold, carry, or make sense of. The pieces of me that think, that put things together, are completely and utterly God-smacked, stunned, and useless. All I feel in this moment is everything that kept me from divinity dissolve. God faces me with beauty and truth, and I know that there is nothing I would rather be a part of. I am rendered ebb tide, and fluid I follow.